Hi, I'm going to explain how I got this style that I'm wearing today. As you can see, it's just one of these easy, bedhead, gorgeous, voluminous hair. You can see that it's really, it's really voluminous on the crown, and it takes a while to to get this style, but I'm going to tell you anyway, because it's so worth it. Start with dirty hair, which you wash. And you would need to use uh, just clarifying shampoo just to get rid of any buildup beforehand. Once the hair is clean, you will get it towel dried to leave it just damp. And then once it is damp, you will apply something like this. This is the Nectar Thermique from Kerastase. This is my favorite heat protectant, basically. It's a leave-in. You're gonna want to achieve some texture, like some, you know, just second day kind of hair. So to achieve that, and to make sure that it's going to blow dry really voluminous, because we are going to blow dry it after that, you would use a mousse. So you would use a mousse. You would start the blow drying. Now to start the blow drying, so you would use um, something like this. This is the Bumble and Bumble Styling Lotion. And you would spray this to your still damp hair. And every time you're going to blow dry a chunk of hair, you would spray that beforehand. So and you would blow dry either with one of those round brushes, like the Rowenta Air Styler, or you can just use, you know, a round brush and a hair dryer. Then once the blow drying is done and the hair is looking smooth and shiny, it's very important to get it very smooth. Then you're going to want to use a straightening iron, but we're going to use it to curl the hair to get this really natural looking way. It's quite a thorough process that you have to go through. And just twist it a little bit, but not too much as to do a perfect curl. Just a little bit to one side and then a little bit to the other. Then we're going to add some glossing cream from Frederick Friquet. This is one of my favorites too. So you add this on your... Now the hair is going to have some waves. So you're going to get this really shiny, wavy, natural looking, bedhead kind of like if you just slept like Big Doherty kind of thing. And then you spray some Bumble and Bumble salt spray. And this is what's really going to give you this PC. You can see the ends there. It has this really beautiful, natural looking, dirty curl to them. So far, it's not going to be more than 45 minutes. If you're quick, you will use some some of this Umberto Giannini backcomb in a bottle, just in the crown area. So you spray the backcomb in a bottle in the crown area, just tease it a little bit, just to get it in there. You might want to set it with hairspray, you might not, but why skip a step when you can have a step? So you would use this Rock and Roll Extreme hairspray because it looks the part. And then, once all of that is done, well, you would be pretty much done at this point, but again, why skip a step when you can add a step? You would use the Batiste Fresh Dry Shampoo, which is what I use, the magic step, where you all over the hair, on top of the hairspray, because you do want that kind of product look. And you would use the dry shampoo and then you just like kind of mess it up a little bit. You know, the waves that you did with your curling, are, they're gonna be kind of loose by now, but we want that, because we want it to look really natural. So to recap, we have the leave-in, we have the styling lotion, we have the mousse that we've applied before, we have the, um, the glossing cream, very important to keep it glossy, and you know, is that like greasy style. That tea dry shampoo that we're going to apply at the end of it. Jenny Nip salt spray. And at the end of this process, you have some amazing, amazing, hair. just amazing. As you, you can go see. out in the streets of rainy London with this hair, it's only gonna get better because it's raining. You get this amazing, texturized, PC, glossy, and you didn't even have to have sex with some grubby person. Oh, this was useful, and I'll see you soon.